So a lot happened in last week's video. If you haven't already checked that out, make sure you do, because a lot's been changing. We got a new fish and we were pretty excited about that and it basically just changed everything and resulted in a lot of our older fish being sold. Today, however, we're back at Pittsburgh Pets, who's a good friend of mine, and we're gonna check out everything that he's got going on in his decent sized fish room, which entails about 40 tanks and loads of different species of fish. So let's get it going. So the first tank I want to show you in this week's tour is his German Blue Ram 20 gallon high breeder tank. And as you can see, the male is absolutely awesome. And there's also a really cool female in there. And these guys have bred multiple times for him. And you'll see all the fry and juveniles that you've got from these guys in a minute. As you can see, the setup's pretty simple. Basic sponge filter, a clay pot for breeding, and then a lot of cover for the female to hide out if needs be. If the male gets a little bit too aggressive for her. Here in a 55 gallon tank, I'd probably guess about 80 or 90 German Blue Rams. And this dude here is also a German Blue Ram. And he's got another little pair in that tank. And the male is unbelievable. This tank's just a 10 gallon tank, as you can see, there's some cover, a few clay pots as they like spawning on smooth surfaces, and then obviously a sponge filter. Here we're looking at some younger German Blue Rams that he's actually got in a little group in a 20 gallon long. Not sure what the end goal is with these guys, whether he's looking to get another pair out of them or whether he's just holding them before selling them to the fish store, I'm not sure, but these guys looked really cool. And he's got a nice little mix of males and females there who are definitely big enough to breed. This tank's another 20 gallon long and in here we've got an absolute boatload of German Blue Ram Fry who have actually just been fed some algae wafers. These guys are only about half an inch to an inch right now but you can see a little bit of coloration starting especially across the eye and that's just a basic tank just for grouts. Here we've got a little tub with an airstone in for the fry, who are absolutely tiny right now and still feeding off their egg sacs. In this tank we have some discus that he's had for around a year, I believe. I don't believe they've bred for him yet, but they look really, really healthy. And out of the five or six discus that he had, these were the two that paired up, so so he's hoping to breed these in the future. He doesn't buffer any of the water and has actually had these from a really, really young juvenile stage as he got them off Aquabid and they've both grown tremendously in the time that he's had them. So as well as German Blue Rams and Discus, he also breeds Angelfish and this pairing of bred for him on multiple occasions. And this is the basic setup of the tank that he uses in order to breed these angelfish. This is a 29 gallon with, I would say approximately 20 to 25 smaller, two, two and a half inch angelfish in. These all look really healthy. And this is a 55 gallon with probably about 20, 25 angelfish in that is selling both on Aquabid and to local fish stores in the area. So be sure to check him out if you live in the Pittsburgh area. And yeah, they're, they're always hungry, so he's, he's clearly doing something right there. Here we've got some younger angelfish in another lower 55 gallon. These ones are probably a little bigger than the first ones, and I'm going to guess they're anywhere from 
three inch to maybe four inch. So he's got all bases covered really when it comes to angelfish and what size people might want when wanting to stock their home aquarium with angelfish. Another type of fish that Mitch is breeding is plecos. In all the pleco tanks, he also has some kind of driftwood, whether it's a full piece or a little piece he's just broken off and thrown in there. The first kind of fish that Mitch started breeding were guppies, and he's got an absolute ton of them that he's currently breeding. And he's looking for all sorts of different colorations, so I believe he does some cobra guppies, some half black blue guppies, and loads of other guppies with different colorations. And as you can see in this tank, there's ones with blue tails, this guy here with a absolute monstrous reddish orange tail. And these are the ones that he sells the majority of to local fish stores in the area, as well as online through Aquabid or through his YouTube, which is just at Pittsburgh Pets. He also has an Instagram, which is the same again, at Pittsburgh Pets. So be sure to subscribe to him or follow him and if you want any of these fish that you've seen in the video, he'll be happy to help you. And this guy here, I believe, is one of his breeder males who's absolutely stunning. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow Mitch on YouTube and Instagram if you're interested in any of the fish shown here. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button and feel free to leave any comments or questions you might have in the comments section below and I'll be sure to get Mitch or myself to answer him. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you on the next one.